I'm Peter Block in New Orleans at ACC 2019. With me on my left is Michael LeMay from uh, Ottawa, Canada, and Michael has just presented a trial which uh, the word uh, these days is disruptive. Disruptive new information, Michael, about radial versus femoral catheterization in STEMI. So quickly tell me about your trial and then we'll talk about what this means. Uh, so Safari STEMI was a trial uh, that was designed uh, with a primary outcome as mortality, 30-day mortality, to compare uh, radial access versus femoral access. Uh, the, the trial was, uh, uh, came to an end in December of 2018 uh, because on the, with the recommendation from the DSMB uh, who uh, uh, recommended a futility analysis and on the basis of this futility analysis uh, the uh, steering committee elected to stop the trial. Okay, so let me just go from there. Now, if they stopped the trial because of uh, the fact that it was futile, it means that there was no difference in the outcomes between radial and femoral. Is that true? So, uh, at, when we look at the 30-day uh, primary outcome of 30-day mortality, uh, the mortality in the uh, femoral axis was 1.3 and in the radial axis 1.5 percent. Okay. And what about the bleeding issues? Because that's always been an issue when these two are compared. So that's interesting as well because we, we use the Timmy definition to compare the two groups, and we found no difference in Timmy major bleeding, in Timmy minor bleeding, in Timmy major or minor bleeding. And then when we use the comparator Bark definition, we did not find any difference in Bark type three to five, and we did not find any difference in transfusions. Well, now over the last, I don't know pick a number five years maybe we've had trials upon trials upon trials and people upon people and people saying you got to do radial you got to learn radial you got to go radial this is a far better way and now suddenly you're telling me hold on what's well, going on are we better uh, now at femorals or what's what's I, happening I, I think that this is true I think we've gotten better at doing femorals we've uh, we've changed a number of things over the last uh, few years we've learned from our from those that do radial that you have to pay attention to the puncture that you have to do reduce the amount of bleeding uh, we've shied away from glycoprotein 2b3 inhibitors which are associated with bleeding and associated with mortality uh, we are using fluoroscopic guidance uh, to help us achieve a better puncture so uh, paying attention to details has made the difference and such that you know, it is the femoral access group that has basically benefited, uh, and uh, this is probably the best explanation for a trial that can't show a difference in mortality. I mean, curiously now, femoral may be coming back. I asked Michael before we started this interview, when's the last time that you saw a retroperitoneal hemorrhage in the last year? And he answered, gosh, you know, maybe none, maybe one. And we used to see a lot more of those, but I think it's the puncture side. If I were to guess more than anything else, getting that right in the middle of the femoral head is really important. That is so true. Yeah. Okay. So disruptive information, quote unquote, whatever that means, uh, but nonetheless fascinating in that for the folks out there who are comfortable with femoral, I'm a femoral guy. I learned femoral way back a hundred years ago. And, uh, now we're in a situation where we can say, hold on, you know, if we think we may get into trouble, femoral access may be the way to go. Well, I, I think that the, there are several messages that come out of this trial. I think one of them is that uh, I, 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 I think you have to know both, both techniques. I think that the, new, the newcomers, the newbies that are um, uh, going to be practicing, I think it, it is a benefit to be able to switch uh, very quickly from a radial to a femoral or femoral to a radial. And I think the, the, the schools should be teaching both uh, techniques. Uh, the other message is I think for those that have been very comfortable at using the femoral approach in STEMI patients, I think that, uh, I think that this study suggests that the results are comparable to, get to the radio. If you like the femoral, go for it. I guess that's one of the messages. Thank you so much, Michael. Interesting data.